Okay, um, recently I saw a video that was talking about Akhenaten uh, being, or Obama actually being the reincarnation of uh, Akhenaten and Michelle Obama being the reincarnation of Queen Tai. And I don't have a problem with that. It's absolutely possible. I believe in reincarnation. Um, and he does actually look exactly like Akhenaten and she looks exactly like Queen Tai. Um, that's not really an issue for me, but this guy was talking about how Akhenaten is is actually satanic because he was comparing him to Moses and um, because he believes Moses is actually was um, the bringer of all the darkness that followed because he worshipped Jehovah who was in fact the the god that says i am that i am um and that you know i will i will kill you all because i am the one and only god and um you know he's the one that demanded blood sacrifices and that sort of thing and uh you know when you look at it that way yes moses seemed to be following someone very dark and controlling and uh had some issues but Akhenaten, um, I do agree that Akhenaten and Moses were possibly the same person, but what I'm saying is that they hijacked Akhenaten's character and replaced it and changed his name and completely um, destroyed his image um, because he disappeared at that time. Um, so, you know, everything that Moses and Akhenaten did were exactly the same in history if you look it up if you do the research and they appear to be the same person at the same time doing the same things but uh, the only difference is that Akhenaten was denying the moon uh, god Apollo uh, or whatever that would have been called at that time um, and his father was the one that was following that and there were many gods and so his idea uh, bringing forth monotheism and, and revering the sun which the sun of course gives us all life um, we are nothing without the sun right so um, because he started this whole monotheistic religion which is where actually the beginning of Christianity he was very hated and he was playing with fire so all of these other rulers that wanted to be like gods um, did not like this idea of there being one God and so they distorted and twisted what he was saying into something that would benefit them which is there's one God it is invisible and that um, it is a jealous God and they called it Yehovah and um, and then when the Jesus character came along they called it Yeshua and they did the same thing to that character this teacher that was bringing forth the same message about the one father in heaven which would be also um, symbolic for the son um, as you can see Jesus parallels the Sun with the 12 Apostles 12 constellations it's all ast astrological they do that for a reason um, what they're trying to do in my opinion is completely distort the messages that were being brought forth by these people which had to do with liberation of humanity of the Jews the actual Jewish people and then they hijacked the name Jew these these control freaks and satanic worshipers they hijacked Jews they, they turned everyone against the Jews um, and they gave new names to all these characters that were Hebrew names and then the Romans in turn gave them these Latin names um, like the disciples they, they all had Latin names there's no reason why they would have had these Latin names like Peter and Thomas and, and so forth they would have been Jews at the time um, that this teacher came along and was trying to teach people about salvation and the key point for me is that the this God that says I am that I am Jesus also said this he said I am and before Abraham I am and this really angered them because the Jews were extremely angered and, and upset with him because what he was saying is that he was God and um, it's so complicated we have to understand that, that everything is taken out of context 
the, the message that we need to come away with is that we, each one of us, have this higher um, consciousness and we're all connected to it and it is I am, it is the ultimate one that exists and we're all fractals of that one. And um, these messages were being put forth by Akhenaten and by um, the man that was known as Jesus. And um, they were wiped out. So who do you believe? Do you believe the people that killed the guy, the messengers? Or do you believe the people that came after and distorted the messages and twisted it to mean that, well, whatever it means, what they're doing is they're taking away your personal power and making you worship something externally outside of you and the only way that we can bring a heavenly existence to this realm is if each and every one of the human beings on the planet raise their vibration and in turn it affects everything around you the sun is changing the sun also is raising in vibration as a collective we raise the vibrations and we when you do that, these parasites are no longer able to exist. It's not a matter, matter of going to war and killing all these bad guys like we keep being told we have to do, kill the terrorists, you know, get rid of the terrorists, get rid of the bad guys. Um, it's, not, it's not about that. You have to raise your own vibration and create your own reality by joining forces with other people that have like vibrations. Um, that said, I think that uh, Obama probably was the reincarnation of Akhenaten and that he may have no clue about it. Um, Michelle may, may have no clue about what's actually going on, but I believe genuinely that they are good people. They just don't understand what's happening. Um, but their souls on the soul level, they're here to be a part of our awakening process. And, you know, everybody that is incarnate, incarnate on this planet at this time has free will to choose to work for the dark or for the light, for the good or for the bad, good or evil. So you can't say because someone reincarnated from someone that you thought was bad or good is going to be the same. We all have a choice. And, uh... It's just, it's fascinating because there's so many things happening right now and it's like this huge puzzle and we get all these little pieces and we have to put them together. And I try not to jump to conclusions, but I think it's just fascinating and, and really interesting that um, this little bit of information came to me where I was trying to decide, you know, what was Akhenaten's role? And I do think that his character was hijacked and that they superimposed the Moses character and used their own agenda to destroy him. And that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Thanks.